And now a developing story. The search continues tonight for the man who pushed a woman into a moving subway. It happened earlier today at the 5th Avenue and 53rd Street Station in Midtown. CBS 2's Jennifer Bisram live there now with the latest for us. Jennifer. Christine and Maurice, we just got off the phone with police before we got on the air and we're told the search for that man who shoved a woman into a moving train continues, but they say they know who he is and they are confident they will find him soon. Take a good look at this man going through a subway turnstile. Police say he's 39-year-old Sabir Jones and he is wanted. As a train was pulling out of the station, she was pushed, causing her head to strike the moving train. The train departed the station, and then she fell onto the roadbed. It happened around noon Wednesday at the 5th Avenue and 53rd Street Station in Midtown Manhattan. Sources say the 30-year-old woman is from Queens and was on her way to work. Now she's at a hospital fighting for her life. Chopper 2 was over the scene as she was being taken away on a stretcher. When young people, ambitious young people who are just trying to live their lives are subject to random attack, we can't put up with it. Still, the NYPD says overall crime in the subway is down, including the amount of people who have been pushed onto tracks. 15 so far this year compared to 22 the same time last year. The mayor has put police in the subway, but you still have emotionally disturbed people roaming the subway system. And the problem is you need more highly trained psychologists, social workers down here, helping these poor souls and taking them to a hospital to get the treatment they need. Again, there's no subway service at this time because of active police investigation. Wednesday night, police remained at the subway station, actively going in and out of trains. Officials say Jones is known to police and has a prior arrest. They believe he has a mental illness. And we're going to fight to make sure that the mental health system and the people who are responsible for evaluating the condition of these people who are having a disproportionate impact on the public space, we feel for them, but we need for them to get in treatment and out of the public space. And we're told a 30-year-old woman remains in the hospital in critical condition tonight with head injuries. As for Jones, the search continues for him. Police asking for your help. If you have any information that could help in this investigation, you're urged to call Crime Stoppers. We are live in Midtown Manhattan tonight. Jennifer Bisram, CBS 2 News. Jen, thank you.